Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert. And I want to show you a cool trick you can do if you have Studio One 3 Professional and you're using the free iPad app and you have an interface that has some spare I.O. on it. Because one thing that I am not that keen on in Studio One is the way that sends work in terms of this control here. I find it quite fiddly to do send control. And I would really love it if, just as with the Studio One app, if you've been using that, I'm going to show you different, in a different video how to do this. In Studio One version 3, the Q-mixes, as you can see there, are on faders. So I can actually control them from faders, which is really nice. Now, wouldn't it be really nice? And uh, this is a big please do it to the devs over at uh, PreSonus. Wouldn't it be really great as well if all the sends were like that as well? If, the, if we could have sends on faders on the, the app, that would be really nice. Uh, rather than this stuff, because I find this just as I say, I find it just really, really quite hard to, to, to just, I just find it really hard to navigate. Uh, so I've been scratching my head a few days and thought there must be a way to do this so I can use this, use this feature on the iPad app to do it as reverb sends. So I've figured it out, and it's pretty straightforward, and I'm going to show you how to do it. But you need spare I.O. on your interface. So you need a spare send and a spare return. Digital would be even better. So I'm using the Apogee Ensemble, and I'm using eight of the returns in the ADAT returns, the, the uh, ADAT light pipes coming in as returns from my uh, audience preamps. But I've got 16, so I've got eight left. So I thought, what would happen if I did a send and return out of the ADATs, literally put a loop to cable in and out, and see what would happen? And so if you've got an interface with Spare I.O., you can actually do this physically with jacks if you wanted to, but digital would be even better. So what I've done is I've gone into the I.O., and I've mapped to send ADAT 15 and 16 out on my Apogee. That's my output. I've called it Reverb Send, and I've ticked the Q-Mix box, because when you tick the Q-Mix box, it now thinks it's a Q-Send. And if it thinks it's a Q-Send, uh, then the iPad app will give me faders to run it on. And on my inputs then, I've gone again, Reverb, Returns, ADAT 15 and 16, and come back as Reverb. So that's all set up on there now. So that when I come to the Q-Mixes on the iPad app, we have a look at this now, Q-Mix, I've already got my vocal booth, I've got my live room, but now also I've got my reverb send, reverb sends on faders in Studio One version three. Then I've come here and created a stereo channel reverb ADAT 15 and 16 are coming in on there. I've made sure so I don't get a feedback loop that this one's switched off so it's not sending to itself. So now I have a send going out on ADAT 15 and 16 of my Studio One through my Apogee ensemble and coming back in the two channels as well. Which now means that when I want to do sends, the send is here anyway, that's a reverb send now. But as you can see, as I move it as well on the screen there, it's moving up and down on a fader on my iPad app. Which now means if I play this track for you. People are talking about Again. I've now got reverb sends on faders. I know that they're asking. Now I like that. Are we more than just friends? It must be confusing, but I find it amusing. So all I've got to do is keep it left, leave it on input monitoring, and also leave it on uh, solo safe. So basically, I press the shift key, and that means that whenever I hit solo, that solo will still stay on. So if I play that vocal. People are talking Still comes back the return About us again Now I've got I've got more than that to use I've got uh, everything from 9 upwards on my edit so I could set up a load of fake at sends out send out and return several reverbs all sorts of stuff as if I'm using hardware but I'm just using a plugin I've just created a loop so that's a really cool workaround and a really cool trick I hope the devs make it possible to actually have sends internally using the iPad app but until then this is a trick you can use if you've got extra sends and returns on your interface you're not using thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon